I'm Marianne Sasaki. You're watching Life in the Law. I was going to say welcome back, but it's me who should be welcome back. I have, I've been gone for a few weeks. I've traveled to New York. I haven't seen anybody since the election, so it's been a very uh, busy almost month or so. Uh, today we're delighted to have Steve Barnes, the vice president of the Gay Men's Chorus of Honolulu, with us to discuss their upcoming show on Sunday. Welcome, Steve. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. Thank you so much for having me. Before on short notice. I'm yeah, you're, he did. Yes, he, <laughs> came, he, he came on short notice, which is so terrific. Um, uh, before we in, in, in dive into that, which is sort of a pet, it's, it's my, one of my, my, the loves of my life, the Gay Men's Chorus. Um, I just want to say, I thought, think I would be remiss if I didn't just mention to, that today is obviously Pearl Harbor Day, um, 75 years ago today, December 7th, 1941, Pearl Harbor was bombed. And, um, you know, this uh, memory made me think a lot about New York during 9-11, I was just really blocks away from the uh, explosion there. And, you know, something like this, so a devastating event like this, changes forever the face of a city. And, you know, it's almost like it's, there's a before and there's an after. You're in like a dream before, sort of, and then after it's, a, it, it's, so, it's you're just in a more alert, alert, you know, alert state. And um, it's palpable here in Hawaii, the, 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 sure. the sacrifice and... Um, the, the implications and ramifications of, of that day. So I just wanted to say um, we're going to have some fun today. Um, we're going to be talking about fun things, but I, di I did want to note that it's, it's, it's a solemn occasion and it deserved to be solemn, sol solemnly addressed, at Absolutely. least a little bit. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. So, um, well, let's tell everybody, the Gay Men's Chorus of Honolulu is... The, like one of the best shows you'll possibly ever see. <laughs> I, I, I swear to God. I would agree with that. It is. Um, <laughs> they do two shows a year. You guys do two yeah, shows do. a year. Mm -hmm. And in June and, in, and around Christmas. Correct. And the Christmas show was, is, is always a spe spectacular event. So we should tell people, um, I guess, th where the Christmas show is going to be when. And we should tell them frequently so they remember <laughs> yeah, and come. Sure. And call the box office and buy some tickets. <laughs> So the show is Sunday? This coming Sunday, uh, December 11th at 5.30 at the Hawaii Theater, the historic Hawaii Theater. So it's a beautiful venue for a night of beautiful music. So 5.30, so we encourage you to come. Lots of tickets still available. So they just opened up the... Uh, the low seating up on the uh, That's the terrific. Balcony. That means yeah. that seats are going. That's my favorite seats are going. There, actually. That, w that's great. That's, yeah. If, so if anybody's familiar with any of the gay men's choruses around the world, around the country, um, what, what I like about ours is, is it's a baby. It's a fledgling it little troupe, and it's just getting its legs. It's like it a is. toddler. It's like a toddler uh -huh. stage, right? And it's just so exciting to watch it grow. Thank you. Yeah. How long have you been involved? I've been involved almost from the beginning. We got started, I believe it was September-ish of 2012. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the very first concert, which was at um, St. Andrew's Priory, the church there. And um, I, was, I was impressed. I was, I was like, I need to be involved. So I joined or I uh, auditioned in January of 2013. So it's been, uh, this January will be four years. And I'm so happy to be a part. And definitely a passion and a, oh, a creative outlet for me. It's, it's, it's for fantastic. Yeah, thank it, you. Also, obviously, the Gay Men's Chorus welcomes um, auditions, auditioners, auditionees. How, what is the right word? It's a way to say that. Potential Always, members. Potential <laughs> members. Oh, you gay or straight, no, uh, whatever you want to be, mm -hmm. but you have to be a man. Right? We do <laughs> ask that you identify as a man, yes. yes. Right. But um, so tell us. Well, let me tell the, the audience a little bit about how I encountered the Gay Men's Chorus, which is I was walking along during Pride, and somebody handed me this leaflet, and I was new here in Hawaii, and I said to myself, well, you know, I don't know anyone here, and this looks like a fun thing to do. I had just been out walking in during the parade. I'd probably been here two months. And I went to the concert, and I was delight just it was just absolutely delightful there's um it's not just standing and singing this there's, there's, there's little skits and it, it, this video i don't know if you're going to have videotape and interspersed between the between the songs and there's a real arrangement of the of the production so is there like a theory or an arrangement of the production this time well there is the way to marry we're celebrating some music um 
um, classic Christmas songs, mm -hmm. holiday songs, and but we uh, always put our own twist on them. We're not afraid to change the lyrics a little bit. We have a very talented art director, Phil, and Phil he, Hildago. Hildago, correct, and he is uh, awesome at making things work for us. So he's we, terrific. We have uh, we do some dancing. We do obviously singing, and there's some acting going on, and we have some special guests and. We really, really work hard to put on a fabulous show. It is a fa it is a <laughs> fabulous show. I mean, it's 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 really uh, you know uh, I am a person that goes to a lot of arts events. I go to the Hawaii Opera Theater. I go to Diamond Head Theater. I go to local college theater. But this is my favorite of all because it's so clever and it's so. Um, you can, the feeling emanates from the audience of the bond between all among all of you. I think oh, thank you know. You. I really, I, but it's true. It's very. Um, there's a word. It's a Yiddish word. It's Heimish, like very uh, comforting, warm. You yeah. know. You know. Very brotherly love. Yeah, almost, yeah. Yeah. We care for each other a lot, and we really try to uh, um, uh, enrich and encourage each other. Right. We're all at different abilities. You know, no one's. We're all. None of us are professional singers. Right. But uh, we all have a love for singing, and we want to be. We want to give back, give back to our community. Well, and you certainly we want, do that. We want to stand up and say we're here, and we're we're proud to be who we are. Right. That's that's. Um, I I was so happy to find uh, LGBTQ. Plus, I guess it is now, <laughs> community in Honolulu because I had such good friends in New York. And um, the kinds of things that the chorus does, um, you, the beach cleanup, for example, yeah. and uh, just the participation in the parade, and just, it, it's exactly, I mean, it's a spirit in which I, I think one should live, you know, one should live in community in harmony with other people. And if I had only one complaint about Honolulu is, hey, straight people, come. More straight people should come. This is not a gay event. This is an event for everybody. So uh, that, that's, that's my little uh, um, task is to spread the word among people who might, might not n know about this, this corner of, of the community mm -hmm. or might think, well, that's not for me because that's for certain. No, it's not. It's for everyone and it's, it's fun for everyone. It really is. It's a great time. Um, it's family friendly. We're not doing anything too no. crazy. No, no. It's a lot of fun. People laugh. People cry. Um, but people are always glad that they came and that is, that is uh, one of the best compliments one can give. Thank you for for entertaining me for an uh, hour and a half. And it's hour mischievous. That's that's, it that's, that's that's a good that's, word. It's, it's mischievous. 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 It, 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 I didn't say it. It's like little, like clever. It's very it's very clever, and you kind of get into the spirit of that. I think a little bit. Can you share on the pro? I mean, if you can, I don't mm -hmm. want to. Uh, if you, but if you'd like to share the program or. Sh uh, and you know, just some details about how the, the rehear how rehearsals have go been going, or whatever. You They've been going good. You know, it's a lot of music. We obviously we sing off book, which is uh, uh, easier said than done. It's mm -hmm. a lot of music to learn. Uh, we sing, and you know, we have what does four that parts. Mean off book. I off book, but we don't have any music in front of us. Oh, oh, okay. For a lot of choirs, we'll just stand there and sing. You know, with the open book and holding it. We don't do that. Okay. We are, uh, you know, more like a. Uh, Broadway show. I was that say, we're you're singing. showman. That's we're showman, why. Yeah, right. you are. So we're this singing. Is, this is a and show. When you don't, this is a distraction to have the music. So we want to be able to pay attention to Phil and and who can direct us how we need to go. Each song is, you know, unique and. Um, there's, like I said, dancing and uh, it's just it's just a, a a lot. There's be some solos, special guests, and some featured solos from within the chorus itself. So it's just a great entertaining um, time of of good music and fun. Um, I'm going to say this ad nauseum. It's Sunday now. What is this? My, it's my December problem. 11th. December 11th mm -hmm. at 5:30 at the Hawaii Theater. Yes. Sunday, December 11th at 5:30 at the Hawaii Theater. Um, Come, come, support the chorus. It's, it's, it's. You'll, you'll be. You'll get more out of it than you'll bring to it. I guarantee you. That's, that's. <laughs> once I started going, I was, I, I could never miss another show. And Phil, obviously, Hildago, who is the musical director, is also the musical director at uh, Diamond Head Theater, isn't he? Or I know he is. Uh, he is a time. featured. Um, Director mostly focused on on the music. He's very you know he's very musically talented, mm -hmm. and he usually often gets um, tasked with directing the the band 
that is leading it. And sometimes he'll do the whole production as well. But uh, lots of experience. Phil is, he's actually doing something right now um, that is uh, another production. And I don't know the name. That's why he couldn't be here today. Oh, really? So, yeah, oh, everyone's, everyone's, everyone's busy, busy doing things this yeah. Christmas season. Yeah, this is, this is like really labor of love by the people <laughs> it really involved. Is. In it, we really, a really work. work a lot. <laughs> it is a lot of work. Hours and I hours see. and hours. I know. And, I'm, and hours. <laughs> yes, it is. It really is. And I mean, you know, when, when I see the, the time and effort that people put into it, it's, it's, it's humbling. It's really like all this for us. Well, thanks. You know, <laughs> thank you so much. So, do you want to talk a little bit about, um, I don't know, the history of the chorus or where you'd like to see the chorus going? Obviously, we want it to grow, right? It's, we want it to be big and famous. We do. Well, we want... Uh, famous, I think, is our is our least uh, of our you know desires. But we want to be we want to be a group that reaches out to the community that stands for quality. We want to preserve. We want all of our our music. We want it to be the best that we can do. We want to show. Um, have productions that people feel good. They feel good about paying the money, not just to support the chorus, because that's what it does. It's financial support. No one's getting rich here. No, <laughs> no it's public. It's, it's non -profit. nonprofit. Uh, we're five hundred one c, and um, we uh, um, our goal is to just get to the point where we have a good, you know, good group of committed guys that are willing to show up. You know, showing up is half the is half the battle right there. Right. And then learning the music and really making a, a commitment to um, do it for more than just self gain, which is good. You know, we always have to do things for ourselves and being creative is a great thing. But it's also that reaching out to to those around us and and saying we're not afraid to stand up and sing and put on a show for you guys. Right. And yeah, we're going to be a little gay. Yeah, yes. I was going to be proud about it. And, we are. And, and we are. I, I we're mean, not, I think we're not the outer and the prouder is the, be, uh, is the best it way is. to be. It is. Live your I life mean, the way you're supposed to live your exactly. life. The way you were meant to be. Exactly. And you know, I know here it's... Um, it's a little different, like I said, than New York, but it's changing and getting better it every is. day. It every is. day, it hopefully. It I, I, we won't get too much into politics, which Correct. I love. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, the environment is, is certainly a, a, a welcoming environment. And, and you know, I, I love Hawaii because it is, you know, open, liberal, and uh, broad-minded, and, and mm -hmm. so I'm comfortable here. I don't think I could live in a place that wasn't. You know, people say, isn't it so different than New York? And I'm like, no, no. Not really. No. The people are sort of the same. They're sort of, you know, yeah. liberal, a groovy kind of cool. And respectful, right? Yeah, people artistic. Respect. Yeah, respectful. And people greet you nicely before they react in any other way. They're nice to you first before they... Right, make a, an opinion. Yeah, form, exactly. Form an opinion. Well, I'm going to take a quick break, and okay. then we'll be back with Steve Barnes, and we'll talk more about the Gay Men's Chorus of Honolulu and how much I love it. I <laughs> love you guys. Uh, I'm Marian Sasaki. This is Life in the Law. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage here on Think Tech. On Center Stage, I talk with really amazing artistic guests about what they do, how they do it, and the most important point, why they do it. I think, I hope, the show is inspirational for everyone. I know it's always inspirational for me. I'm also the managing director of Kumukuhua Theater, which is right next door, and I happen to have with me now Will Kahele, who is an artist. We just finished a conversation. I hope you can catch on center stage. And we work together at Kumukuhua Theater. Why should people come over there? Because it's a great place to see uh, plays written by uh, local playwrights. Why should people watch this show? Oh, because, um, because it's cool and it's uh, great things to know every week. And because, you know, you are a very cool hostess. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Give me my money. <laughs> Give me my money. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marianne Gatto. Oh, I'm not Marianne Gatto anymore. I'm Marianne Sasaki. <laughs> you know, when I, I've been to New York, and when I'm in New York, I go, you know, I stay with my mother, and I'm, I guess I'm pr pretty much Marianne Gatto for the time I'm in Brooklyn. So I, I still haven't made the complete switch over. So um, we're here with Steve Barnes of the Gay Men's Chorus of Honolulu, who's having a show Sunday, December 11th. Correct. Ah, 530. At 5:30 at the Hawaii Theater. Mm -hmm. Everybody's welcome to come. And Absolutely. We, and it, the, the, the Gay Men's Chorus is a, a 501c3 corporation, is that It right? is, it okay. is, non-profit. So, 
Well, tell us a little bit about what that means and what that could mean for the viewers. I mean, well, it means that um, obviously the we survive by the donations of ourselves. We pay a membership to be part. It's a small membership, and um, we never use that as a, or that's never should be a reason why someone can't be involved. Right. Um, it's a very small amount, but that helps to fund. Or just like any organization, there are costs involved, right. and um, so we also reach out to the community. We do um, some volunteer stuff. Um, we just did a, a, a beach cleanup with Matson, and they give a donation for helping with that. And right. and um, we do uh, s singing ground telegrams. We did that at uh, Valentine's right, Day, right, right, and right, I believe yeah. we're about to do that again oh, for for Christmas. So you can you can uh, order if you want a loved one to get a singing live telegram via uh, um, telephone. How should they do it? Should they check out the Facebook page? They should. Facebook page, you can put a message there, reach myself or reach um, Butch, and we'll, we'll make sure that we get that taken care of for you. You want to send a singing a telegram? Gift. Because, yeah. you know, these guys, their voices are terrific. I mean, this is really, this is not <laughs> a, a play thing. No, really. The, no, it's a real thing. Yeah, voices you, um, are terrific. Whoever, yeah. Whoever's receiving it will definite, uh, definitely be um, pleased and surprised at, uh, at the songs. So. And, you know, I'd like to say, too, um, you know, so our firm s is supports Absolutely. Gay Men's We're Chorus. Absolutely. And, and uh, I'd like to speak to also other corporations and law firms and say, you know, we're always looking for a way, especially during the holiday season, to do good, to mm -hmm. do some good. Correct. And now, I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't give to large, well-known organizations. You, you should. But there's a special feeling that comes with giving to a, sm a f small fledgling organization that really needs, you know, your support. And, I, you know, I think it's a wonderful way to acknowledge also there's diversity in, 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 our, in our offices, there's diversity in our right. neighborhoods. Absolutely. And, and, we, and, and, and to be comfortable with that and understand that. Because I remember when I, I first um, came to the firm and I said, uh, listen, I'm going to buy this whatever the back ad, ad of, uh, in, uh, in the program. And they were like, why? And I'm like, because they're my people. There are people. You know, the members of the firm are gay. This is like a great, you want to support this. Sure. You want to make sure people know that all kinds of diversity is welcome. So I, I would encourage yes. medium-sized businesses, large businesses to support the Gay Men's Chorus because it, it, they're doing fine work. And, but more importantly, your employees will adore you for it. They will, they will think they will adore you for it. And then you'll have more happier employees, more productive, and everybody will be happy. <laughs> we have a very small budget, but uh, um, anything that could, a year-end giving, we would love to and be very happy and very grateful if uh, you would consider that or decide you want to buy 10 tickets for the concert and give those out really quick to, right. to your co-workers or to... Great Christmas um, gift. Chris, early Christmas gift, absolutely. And um, anything is... Uh, uh, we are very grateful for whatever anyone could help with, sure. So how did, um, well, how did you become vice president? What, did, was there a vote or what? They have this secret uh, in, uh, internal... Gun to the head. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. What, there can, what can be the upside? There, there can, ab can absolutely be no upside to that. It could only be a lot of work it is, and it a is. lot of aggravation and a lot of pinching well, pennies. Butch um, takes care of most of it. He's the Butch president. Butch Meredith is the president. Butch, Butch Meredith is the president. And, it's, and this organization wouldn't exist without Butch. So mahalo, Butch. Yes, mahalo, and, Butch. Um, um, he's asked, he asked me to come alongside. We had um, a vice president that wasn't able to continue. Fulfill their duties. To fulfill, and for various reasons. Understandable. So he asked me to, to step in and to help out and just to basically help carry the load of all the, the, the decisions that have to be made and, and the, you know, the reaching out and follow up with um, all the different parts of the show and parts of, of um, the administration. Every organization has an administration, right. and somebody's going to make it run. Correct, it's and I, it I help run with itself, that. Right? And you know, because I love it. I love it, and I really want to. I want this organization to keep moving forward. Um, life continues to move forward, whether you stop or not. We want to continue to move forward. So I'm committed to to that and helping the course do that. I think it's so great, also, when you can. Uh, do a good thing, and it, it advances an artistic cause. I mean, I, there, there are, you know, umpteen charities here in, in Hawaii. Everybody's, you know, has so, something. But, you know, I just think advancing the arts is, is it's got to be among the most noble things you can possibly yeah. do. I mean, it just makes...
everybody's life better, you know. Sure. So yeah, that's why I, I, you know, I really encourage people to come to the show and to donate. And you know, don't be like, oh, I don't. My donation is too. Your donation is not too small. Any donation would Absolutely. be welcome, we'll right? Absolutely, we'll be Steve? very grateful. For we're that. not proud Absolutely. people here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're proud, but we're not proud. Yes. <laughs> Um, I have a great example too of, of um, sometimes you just don't know what your impact is and we, I, I had mentioned the um, Matson cleanup. We had, uh, we put it on our Facebook page. We didn't, you know, we, pub we publicized it. Everyone was welcome to come and help and, and we cleaned up uh, Neil Blaisdell Park over there, Pearl, Pearl City, mm -hmm. just off of Kamehameha Highway and um, uh, that place is looking great. I can tell you that. Looking great. But we had uh, somebody showed up and wanted to help. They were just from the community. And it was a, uh, a sister and brother. And she came out because um, uh, her brother um, had come out recently right. and was being gay. You want, you want to have a community. was feeling torment and was feeling um, ostrac being ostracized and all these feelings. And he just wanted, he didn't know anybody gay. So he wanted to come out and right. hang out with uh, folks that, uh, um, like himself. Well, and it was, it was great. And his sister obviously wanted him to meet others and not feel like, I'm all alone, I'm all alone. And, right, no, and you're not It's no all good to feel alone. alone in this world. No, no, not no. Not at all. Well, that's what, you know, obviously, uh, I'm not gay, but uh, but I was like, these are people like me. These are sure. the kinds of people I want in my life. And you know, and if you are a young person and you and you're looking for community, this is a great uh, place is. to spend your time. It really because is because it's a very positive, the positive vibe. It's an activity that where people are creating and and doing. And and I think that, you know. If I if I was young as a younger person, I could see that the that that it would the beneficial effect it would have on me. I think because I think you can you know you can find lots of communities and some are a little bit sure, less sure. productive and creative and you know yeah. Uh, yeah. we're, we're very focused on you know our music. We're very focused on getting getting caring for one another, but also putting on a show and. Um, if you just want to be involved and you're not a singer, that's okay too. I'm, we have I'm involved. I'm very not much. a singer. Yeah, we have lots of up. things to help with, and and we are we welcome anyone who wants to be involved, male or female. Yeah, If you want to be involved yeah. and help, and, and just and to enlarge many different the ways. community because sure. you know cross pollination. That's how ideas. Are, that's how things are created. That's how structures are built. Every, everybody pitching and in. A and a baby and, every know. once in a while. Yes, every <laughs> once in a while. For lucky people. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many members of the chorus are there now? I would say we're, um, I think we're at thirty-seven right now. That's good. That That's is a more good number. Than we than had actually just recently about ten new folks um, join um, in beginning of September, That's great. and they've been very consistent and and very very involved, which is exciting. Because right. a lot of times you have new folks that come. They come for one or two times, then their life comes about, and they right. get busy. And chorus sometimes can be the first thing that they go. I right. don't have time. It's a real. It's so. a real. Um, a commitment, I think, to it do is, it because it because when you see the professionality of the show and you see how how well done it is, uh, you you know that these are people who have had to have been working their hearts out because well they did. I'll tell you one little short thing. This is a real favorite of mine was the first time I ever saw the Gay Men's Chorus. They saying, I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. Yeah, <laughs> which is perfect for the nice 40s song, right, considering uh, the special day and everything. And uh, all the guys wore towels around their head, and they were uh, just adorable. <laughs> we took this adorable picture, and we just, we just were unprepared for it. We didn't know. It was just so cute and so, you know, love, lovely, uh, you know. And we... It, we, it just it, it, it's kind of those kinds of things, those kinds of touches that endear sure. you to the public. So keep yeah. Who's directing? Phil is directing. He's Phil's the, direct, he's the oh, artistic he's the director. director. Yeah, oh, so he's, he's not just the musical director. He's the director. He is. He is. We, yeah. We. Um, he's the. Uh, he wears multiple hats. So okay. For sure. Yeah. Don Farmer is very involved with production and making sure things happen. Without Don, the, the things wouldn't happen the way they happen also. He's very talented. Don Farmer is a member of the cast, a member of the community, and um, he's actually a professional. He's a professional, And yeah. 
I saw him in Promises, Promises, and he was just absolutely terrific. But he's got a personality larger than life, so that don't <laughs> worry, don't if you're timid, don't worry because somebody yeah. will find you and come and befriend you. And you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we have lots of shy guys that right. you know. They're like, I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm nervous. Right, right. And not, but no. they get they get there and they you know they part of life is conquering some of the fears that you have and if being in front of folks you love to sing but you're afraid to be in front of folks just come. It's one of those things that. Um, it's not as bad as you think it is. And when you do it, you love it. You love it. And let me say once more, once more, the show is Sunday, December 11th at 5.30 at the Hawaii Theater. Tickets yeah. are on sale. Tickets are going. So I, 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 what, what, how we were on the news. We were on the oh, morning show. Ask, how hey, did the morning it went show wonderful. Go? It was so did, nice. Did you sing? You we did that? sing. We did sing a few songs and um, they promoted us on that. So I'm, you know, I, Last year we sold so many tickets right within the 20, 48 peri or hour period right after that. So I'm very excited to see what happens today and tomorrow with our ticket sales. So. Yeah, well, the, <laughs> the large audience, this large and diverse <laughs> audience is going to no doubt show up in droves. I hope you guys show up. Please do. <laughs> so um, I just want to thank you so much for Incredible. coming, so much for taking the time. It's been it's wonderful. It's my pleasure. And it's, it, uh, once again, Sunday, December 11th, Gay Men's Chorus of Honolulu. If, if you don't get to go to the show, just go to their Facebook page and like them and follow oh, them and see all the great things they're doing. Yeah. Singing telegrams, beach cleanups, pub crawls. I, yeah, I we know have you fun at those. Pub crawl. We do. So, so look them up. Definitely check them out. And I'm with Steve Barnes. I'm Marianne Sasaki. You've been watching Life in the Law. I look forward to seeing you next week.